Now to an update on a controversial proposal to build self-storage units in Jacksonville San Marco neighborhood today. The Downtown Development Review Board allowed the project to move forward. It would sit at the corner of Hendricks Avenue and Prudential Drive. News for Jacks reporter Alicia Hatcher spoke with neighbors who have mixed feelings about this plan. Do we want their first impression of Jacksonville to be a storage warehouse? That was a question many people had as they listened to a lobbyist speak to the Downtown Development Review Board about a project they are looking to bring to San Marco. The 10 floor project would consist of retail, parking, self storage and residential units, something some San Marco residents aren't happy about. Residents say they walk in this area daily and feel if they add a storage unit here, it will impact their safety and add traffic. People like Alan Grates are in favor of the proposal. Matter of, I think everyone wants the same sort of thing. We have some different priorities. And one of my concerns is the cost of housing in the city. And we just, it, it's not as simple as just building more, but we need to build more. And in this particular project, it has uh, an affordable housing component. Now, I know a lot of people's concern is the storage unit. Does that raise any red flags for you? I mean, it does, but that's the priorities, right? My, my concern is the housing, and I can empathize with people who are concerned with that component. One thing both sides can agree on. I'd like to see go into that space is a 10-story residential building, okay, where the places for tenant storage is integrated within that residential, you know, area. After hours of discussion, the board approved this project to be decided by city council. We tried speaking with the lobbyist attorney after the decision was made, but they declined to speak. Alicia Hatcher, Channel 4, The Local Station.